Hi, my name is Robert Shelley with Shelley Law, and my law firm assists uh, individuals with medical record subpoena issues. Uh, today I'm going to talk about whether medical records can be subpoenaed in divorce cases in Arizona. Uh, the short answer is yes, uh, if they are sent uh, via kind of the, um, I guess, statutorily approved way. So there are kind of four avenues uh, for legitimate medical record subpoenas in Arizona. First is from the patient. So uh, if a patient gives authorization for a healthcare provider to release their medical records via subpoena, then obviously they have to be sent. Now in a divorce case, you, <laughs> you're trying to get the medical records of your uh, spouse. Uh, so in that, that case, you'd have to assume that spouse is not gonna just give authorization um, so the subpoena would be necessary. Because what would happen is, uh, assuming you're you know, represented by an attorney, you would then probably send a letter to the opposing counsel saying, we want access to the medical records of the spouse. Uh, why you would want the medical records. I mean, if there's some kind of dispute as far as the amount of spousal support, and maybe they're saying they need more due to medical conditions, and they, the other side wants the other side to prove it, that's why the medical records may be important. So uh, if one side says, no, we're not giving you consent, we're not just gonna give you the records, uh, then the only other way that uh, the subpoena can be issued is through court. So the judge that's overseeing the divorce would have to then issue the subpoena to the other side, um, compelling the production of the medical record. Now, there obviously can be um, you know, some objections uh, for a number of reasons. And if you're in a divorce proceeding now and you have an attorney, then you need to absolutely talk to them about making objections if you do not want to give up your medical records. And then those arguments would then be made in front of the judge. And then the judge would determine whether to issue the subpoena or not. If the judge does say, you're going to have to give up your medical records, then you also want to make certain that your attorney is then fighting to keep them confidential um, or under seal in some manner. That way, they can't be used in any other manner beyond determining, you know, spousal support in some way, which is the most likely, um, you know, the the I guess the uh, most likely reason that the other party wants them is that is for that reason to determine. Uh, whether the level of spousal support um, is changed in a significant manner based upon the health conditions of the other spouse. Now, uh, as I said before, if you just get a letter from the opposing counsel saying, we want your medical records, you, you don't have to comply with it. But if it comes through the court, um, and then the three others are a licensing board, grand jury proceeding, um, or uh, if the patient authorizes it. So uh, it has to come for the court for you to have to give up your medical records. Now, some people will say, well, HIPAA. I find as a healthcare attorney, most people uh, don't understand HIPAA and almost always use it incorrectly. Um, HIPAA is not a shield uh, when it comes to a medical record subpoena that's validly submitted uh, in Arizona. So you can't hide behind HIPAA. Obviously, you don't want to give up your medical records. <laughs> and so the whole point of the subpoena is to compel the production of those records. Um, so uh, yes, if you're in a divorce proceeding, your medical records can be subpoenaed. If it's through the court, the judge allows it, and then no objections have been made by either side. And then if the judge does force the other party to give up their medical records, then you need to make certain that your attorney is fighting to keep them confidential as well. All right, well, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions about a medical record subpoena, you can contact my law firm at the phone number listed below in the description, uh, or you can reach us through our website, shellylaw.com. All right, thanks for watching.